Hello everyone, and welcome back to this war of mine. I'm John, and we're here on day two. Um, Marco was just on a very successful scavenging run. He got himself lots of materials, though he may or may not have almost died in a burning hellfire of a building. Um, but he did bring the bandages as well, so we can see to that wound that poor Bruno has at long last. Um, which is good, for sure. Oh god, he is hungry and tired now, though. So the first thing we're gonna do... Are you still asleep down there, Pavle? It looks like he is. Well, okay. Well, Bruno, see to that wound, buddy. Um, and Marco is gonna build a crude stove so that Bruno can make some meals for everyone. Now that we have some decent food in the, in the house, at least for now. I know you haven't slept in some time, Bruno. I'm going to take care of that in a minute. But first, you need to make some food. Because um, once Pavle gets up... Pavle, you should just get up. Just get up, Pavle. You are no longer tired. You are no longer sick. There's no excuse for sleeping in. Okay, I hope you get better now, too, because at least that wound is bandaged. Um, and let's make a crude stove. Good stuff. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it down here, actually, because the materials are up here in the fridge. But I actually feel like I want to try to keep a lot of the stuff that the people are gonna be using down here, where they are not likely to get damaged. Maybe I don't know if they're actually less likely to get damaged. But it seems like below ground, in the case of shelling of things like that, that it'll just be in general a safer place to be. Hopefully that's true. Um, I, I know, all of you would gladly eat something, and look, soon you'll be able to, because Bruno will be on the case, he's gonna make us a bunch of awesome food, and everyone will be happy again, but until then, Pavle, actually, I want Pavle to make some, can I make any more lockpicks? Because as it turns out, I could use some of those. So let's see here. Uh, what's this, pry open... A few doors before it breaks, does your job slowly and loudly. Um, single use, but opens locks quickly and quietly. I see, okay. Well, let's get a crowbar. Because I don't think we're gonna... We're gonna try to avoid places with people. So I'll make a crowbar first, but I'm also gonna make a lockpick, just in case I find myself in a situation where I'd rather not make noise, and I have to open a locked door. But I think the pry bar will do, in a lot of cases. We'll see, though. Okay. Bruno is ready to cook. And look, it is going to be just a time. His stomach is rumbling. Oh, God. Well, get on it, Bruno. Let's cook us up. Oh, we need fuel. Um, okay. Let's just make... We can turn our wood into fuel. We can turn books into fuel. Now, let's burn one of our books, because I don't want to burn all the books. Because I think they read the books sometimes, I've noticed. And, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We're not trying to improve the workshop right now. Right now, we just want to build another bed. Um, did I accidentally take Bruno away from there? What are you doing, Bruno? No, get back to cooking. I'm sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. Now then, I can't make a bed yet, that's a shame. I could just make a chair. Um... It will make us feel better in these tough times. Yeah, let's build a chair and let's put it down here next to the cook stove so that we can um, sit there and he can, you know, sit and chat with Bruno while Bruno cooks up the day's meals. And speaking of cooking up the day's meals, we need to make more fuel. Um, I don't want to burn more books. And wood's a bit precious, but I guess I have to burn some, some wood. Um, Bruno's going for it. Okay, let's see. Okay, Pavle is done with the pry bar. And I can't make a lockpick anymore. I've used up all the components. I want to be able to make a knife as well soon. Um, so I need some weapon parts. Yeah, we are lucky it's not cold in here, but don't worry. We'll be able to deal with that by the time it gets cold, I think. I'm not too concerned about it. That's probably because I haven't actually had a cold time yet in this game. Um, I don't know how bad it gets. Pavle, 
while you're waiting for things to happen, why don't you just go have a, have a good seat in that chair? Um, oh, uh, actually, no. Come down here. And that's right, I can start using the pry bar to open up these... Oh, I should have been doing this all along. I should use the pry bar to open all of the lock stuff in this area, instead of wasting parts on those lock picks. Well, hindsight, I've learned something today. <laughs> uh, but the important thing is, we can have Bruno make these meals now. And they're going to be good meals. Oh, jeez. Simple disease will heal in a few days without medicine. Thanks for those inspiring words, Marco. Um, holy fucking shit, dude. Well, sit. You can have you can have a seat while you wait for um, Bruno to finish cooking your meal. Which oh look, he's already done. But Bruno's gonna serve himself first, of course, because he he's that kind of guy. He's like, no, I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat right now. Um. <laughs> As soon as the stew is finished, he just started serving himself. Uh, that, oh no, he just sat there and ate it in front of the stew, in front of the cook stove. And Marco, and then ran out of the room. And Marco's like, "Okay, I guess that means it's my turn." And it is. Um, and while that's going on, let's pry this open. Hell yeah! And hurry up and finish up, Marco, because I'm going to send you to bed as soon as you're done with that, because you need a good night's sleep. And Bruno, I know you haven't slept in some time, but you need to keep on cooking. Um, you just need to fucking mach machine through this shit. Um, can I make another one of these? It makes two meals and only uses one food because it uses the vegetables, but I don't need two meals right now. I only need one more. So, at the moment, my food supplies will last me another day, which is decent. It's not great. I feel like I should probably get some more. We'll see, though. Okay, Pavle's into the cabinet, though. Maybe we can build another bed. That's really what I'm hoping for. Because I would like to let Bruno sleep. Um, no such luck, though. We did find more bandages, so that's good. But no bed is going to be made tonight. I'm sorry, Bruno. And you are a little wounded, too. But you're going to sleep tonight. You're going to take the one bed. Because Pavle is going to stay up and run the guard shift. So, as soon as Pavle eats this meal, though, I'm going to go ahead and end the day, because I think I've done everything I can do after that. Ever, everything I'm going to do. So, come on, Pavle, get to it. There's never enough food, medication, and bandages. No, there really isn't. There's never enough anything in this kind of situation. It's really... It's really kind of sad, actually. Um, this cave in general is just very depressing, actually. But it's it's beautiful. I mean, look at this. The the ambient the ambient noise. There is a, a certain terrible beauty to it all. Um, well, but it is awful. Truly, truly awful. I mean, look at this. This guy is a former pro athlete, and he's been sleeping in a basement, like with just bricks and rotten crap and cardboard all around him on a pallet bed. This is what happens, though. Well, let's end this day. Nothing like a good sleep. That's right. Which is good that you're good and refreshed because you are scavenging tonight. And Pavle, you're gonna guard. Okay. St. Mary's Church. This is new. It's a place of meetings for the local community still. Priest Olek is known for his charitable work in offering refuge to the poor. He might some have something to give away or trade. And the vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We might find some useful materials there. Caution advised. Huh. Caution advised? Yeah, all, both those places, caution is advised. Why? At the garage. Before the war, you could have your car repaired there. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, we might find lots of useful parts there, and maybe even some food. I see. There might still be people here. That's why caution is advised, because you never know what people are going to do. Um, well, let's see. The shelled cottage still has materials, meds, weapons, and parts. And it's probably burned down by now. We can get into 
that room that I couldn't get into before with this pry bar. So I'm going to head there with Marco. We're going to see if we can find anything new. But at the very least, we can load up on components and parts and such. And at the very least, it won't be burning anymore because it will, by now, be done burning. Yep. Is it... Wait, is it still on fire? Oh my god, this building is still on fire. Holy shit. That is unbelievable. Okay, well... It ha apparently is not finished burning down. Oh no, can I not go up here though because of fire? That looks dangerous. Um, well, go for it, Marco. We know there's nobody here. Is there a basement that I haven't looked at too? It looks like there might be. Well, I'm going to check that out next, but I really want to see what's in this room. So get the crowbar, shove it in there. Oh man, he's making lots of noise. If anybody's here, they're coming. Um, wait, is there someone here? Oh my god. Marco, are you ready to defend yourself? He's trying to sneak up on us, too. Who is this going to be? Oh, my God. It's a mouse. Oh, fucking hell. It's a goddamn mouse, guys. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let's see what's in here. Fucking shit, man. Um, this is a zone of anti-terrorist operations. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. But... The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the, the atrocities they had committed. Holy shit! So they're just killing people in the city just because they're in the city still. And they're not going to discriminate. Oh my god. Well, we want to avoid the army then. For sure. There better be something useful up here. Well, let's grab all this shit. Whatever. Shell casings we might be able to use eventually for, um, if we ever get a gun. Which may happen. It may not, but I hope it does. Oh my god, I... Mm. I'm sorry, I'm still a little jittery after... Oh, cocoa beans! Awesome. And fertilizer? Oh, here's some weapon parts. And electrical parts. Oh, good. This is, good. this is a good haul right here, actually. This is some good stuff. Um, I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave these shell casings. They're empty shell casings. We could make firearm ammo out of them, but I'm going to take the books instead, I think, for now. Because I can use the books as fuel. <laughs> and people can maybe read them, but more likely I'm going to use them as fuel, let's be honest. Um, let's see... Is there anything else I wanted to take here? I might be full up, though. I don't think Marco can hold anything else. No, not really. Um, I guess we have to come back to this cottage again for more materials. Well, Marco, just run to the exit. We're done here. Um, actually, wait. I'm not done here. I want to see what this basement deal is. Oh, look at this. There's... Oh, what is all this? Is this a shit pile? It looks like we have to come back here with a shovel and a crowbar. And now I'm hearing a rat up there again, it looks like. Well, just in case it's not a rat, though. Um, get out the crowbar. Just in case. And we're going to move ca cautiously out of here. But I think this is probably just a mouse. It's just a mouse, okay. Good. Well, let's get to the exit then, Marco. We're done here for now. Because I don't want to be here when this building collapses, and it still might at any moment, because, I mean, it is currently actively on fire for the second day. Oh, my God. Well, Marco has returned. Um, all right. And we're back now on day three. Marco, coming back through that door with yet another impressive haul of materials um, that hopefully we'll be able to build some stuff with. But first priority for Marco. What a night. Found plenty of, this, of really fine stuff. Well, I'm proud of you, Marco. Um, but the first thing Marco is going to do once he's done dusting himself off... We've been raided! Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so they didn't do much harm. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. Bruno was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. Ah, uh, Bruno was wounded again? Bruno, I'm starting to think this is your own fault, dude. 
Uh, slightly wounded and hungry. Well, let's go patch yourself up, dude. And then you can make some food for everyone. Oh god, everyone's hungry now. Well, we're gonna let Marco... Um, before Marco sleeps, we're gonna let him eat. So, before you even bandage yourself, Bruno, I'd like you to make food for everybody. Actually, I can probably make a second bed now as well. Which will be invaluable. Actually, no. I don't need a second bed. I've been doing pretty well by rotating um, people through beds. What I really want is a radio. Because I want to be able to listen to news reports and such. And let's put the radio... This is kind of looking like the um, the common area here. There's, there's a seat, there's a stove. It's all very homey. So we're going to put the radio in here. And then while we're cooking and while we're eating, we can listen to the news reports. And yeah, I know you should sleep off last night, Marco, but you want to eat first, buddy. Um, I'm sure that you want to eat. And I want you to eat. Oh, jeez, we need to make fuel first. Well, let's make two fuel. That should be enough to make meals for the day. Um, and what is, what is Pavle up to? Pavle is hungry and tired as well. But he's not going to get to rest anytime soon. Let's see if we can't um, upgrade one of these, maybe. What kind of materials do we need to upgrade? I should have been looking at this, because I should be aiming to do this, I think. And I want to upgrade the workbench first to see if I can build anything more useful. Alright, Bruno's done with the fuel. So let's make some good meals for you and your buddy uh, Marco. And Pavle is just happy he's getting cooked food. He doesn't realize he's not getting the nice meat and vegetables that Bruno is cooking for him and Marco. But you can't blame Bruno for looking after his friend. After all, his friend does a lot of looking after him. So it's only fair. Okay, we're lucky it's not cold in here. I know we are. And we need a few more components, it looks like, before we can do this improved workshop. But that's okay. We'll get that soon. Um, we can upgrade it further to make electrical improvements. Okay, cool. Well, I can't do that yet, though. So let's see. Can I upgrade this now? Because maybe I want to do that immediately and get better tools. Oh, but you're done cooking. So go have a seat. Um, no, we need even more to make ammo and fix bulletproof vests. Oh. Nice, okay. So eventually I'm, I am going to want to do that. But let's see. Bruno, take a seat. And let Marco have his meal. And Pavle, you go turn on the radio. Let's have everybody kind of hanging out in this room here. You know, let's... Because everyone should be here for the news report, I feel like. Um, they all want it. They all want to listen. They all want to know what's going on in the outside world. And... Pavle is walking by to turn on the radio very slowly. Um, here we go. Punch it, Pavle. You're listening to Radio Pigorin. We regret to announce that our colleague Joran died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. He will be missed. Holy shit. That's fucked up. Okay. Well, what else can we find? Um... Nothing. Oh. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Pagoran, the city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. And meanwhile, the people inside are starving. Well. I guess that might be all I can find, actually. Anything over any anything else over here at all? No. Oh my god. Those are some terrible sounds. Let's just leave the music on. I don't I don't want to listen to those sounds. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Well, Marco. On that note, you can head to bed. Um Bruno is gonna see Pavle. Standing here looking haggard and tired, and he's gonna say, you know what, Pavle, go ahead. You 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 eat the nice meat and vegetables meal. And I'll take the um 
I'll take the other one because, because as it turns out, Pavle saved Bruno's life in the attack last night. Um, they broke in. They managed to get by Pavle, push by him, and Bruno woke up and came out and tried to defend him, tried to defend the area, and a guy was on top of him, you know, about to kill him, and Pavle stepped up. You know, got the guy from behind, pulled him off, beat him up a little, the dude ran for it. And Bruno probably would not be here today if it weren't for Pavle. So, as it turns out, um, Bruno is very grateful for that. And Pavle, at least, although he still, um, would, he still talks big as though he would let Bruno just, you know, he'd throw, oh, someone's at the door. What? Oh god. It's, could this be a bad thing? Okay, um, Pavle is gonna go take care of this. Oh jeez. I don't know, man. Bruno, can you... You're wounded though, buddy. Um, but you, you be up here, just in, keep an eye on what is going on up here. I'm gonna have two people answer the door, because there's only one of him. Oh jeez. I don't know. It could just be a traitor. It's probably just a traitor. Let's, so let's make it worth the effort. All right. Well, we could use some some new goods. So let's trade, buddy. Um, what do we need? Ooh, canned food. It would cost you, of course. Well, let's get some cigarettes. Because I think Bruno could use cigarettes. I think he likes that. Actually, what do we need urgently? We need weapon parts, I think. Um, and let's just go ahead and put this gem up. Oh, and he also is very interested in the books. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be burning these. It's very generous of you. Fine, we can have a deal. Um, okay, let's see how much I can get out of this guy. Um, components, for sure. I need lots of components. So let's grab a bunch of these. Oh, it won't do. What? This is a great trade, asshole. Oh my god, what? Maybe it's the weapon parts that are so expensive. Um, let's take one of those off, and let's put on some cigarettes instead. No? A cigarette. Deal. Well, that's all we want from you, actually. We're done here. You can go home. This part of town is dangerous, but I'll try to come again. Alright. Well, thank you for dropping by, buddy. Because I think now I can upgrade the, um... We're going to close the door. If we can. In his face. He's like, okay, you're done here. Go home. And he is going home. Good. I, for a second, I thought he wasn't going to leave. And I was like, what are you doing, dude? This is not a place to linger. These people have been through some shit. All right. Do I want to do this? I do want... I want to see what I can make, so yes. Let's upgrade this workshop. Um, and then I'll take a look at the recipes and decide what kind of things to aim for my scavenging run tonight. And then after the run tonight... Well, we'll see where we go from there. We have plenty of time right now, though. Do, 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 do. This is such inappropriate music right now. Um, I'm just letting it play, but it's like, wow, what the hell? Oh, jeez. I guess they just want to hear something beautiful in this time of terrible, awful chaos and ugliness. They want to remember that at some time, people could be cheerful and happy and friendly and look out for each other. Well, these three actually do look out for each other right now, but to them, the outside world is a dangerous place. Oh my god, we can make an armchair? How do we do that? Wait, what's this? We can board up... Um, oh, we can board up for protection against looters. Well, we definitely want to do that. Um... Herbal workshop. We can prepare herbal meds here. That's going to be a good thing. A trap for small animals. Ooh. 
I want this. So I need parts, wood, and components because I want to, if I can catch my own food, like the little rats and stuff, and eat them, then I won't have to rely on scavenging for food as much. And a guitar? What? How do I get a guitar? You have to find a broken guitar. Aw, oh, shit. I need to find a goddamn guitar. Okay, well. Well, for now, though, what I need are components and such, so we're going to end the day and send Marco out on his scavenging run. And we're going to give... Um, we're going to give Pavle the sleep in the bed, and we're going to put Bruno on guard tonight, even though he's wounded. It's a shame, but Pavle is very tired at the moment. So let's see, we could just head back to the shelled cottage again, but we know that we need a bunch of... Well, actually, there's still materials, there's still parts and weapons here, and we can come back here with a shovel now and get at some of the stuff we couldn't before, because we didn't bring a shovel. <laughs> So here we go. Um, this does fill up my inventory a little bit, but it'll be worth it, I think, to see what's behind those um, those piles of dirt and shit. Let's hope. All right, this is a familiar place for Marco by now. He's been here. This is his third night in a row. He kind of knows the uh, the drill. He's not too worried about people, but you know, I'm still gonna have him get his shovel out because I'm a little worried about people. You never know. Like, just because a place was clear last night doesn't mean it's going to be clear tonight. And also, just because it didn't burn down and collapse on your head last night doesn't mean that won't happen tonight either, Marco. Um, scavenge. Here we go. Let's dig through this pile and see what's in here. Alright, this is going to be loud, but again, I think that we're alone here at, around this burning house. I actually think most people aren't crazy enough to run into a burning building three nights in a row and try to scavenge the place because Marco is obviously insane in doing this again and again but we are getting lost materials from it and we're not having to fight anybody and I see both of these as good things so for now I'm gonna keep on keeping on let's bust open this cabinet though Marco he's shoving the pry bar in there he's getting down and dirty he's not worried about making noise right now Come on, Marco. You can do it, buddy. I think one more good pull, and it's going to give. Oh, yeah. Here it goes. There you go. Good job. Let's see what's in here. This could be good. Or it could be shit. You don't really know. Ah, oh, gunpowder. Yes. And, ooh, ammunition as well? And cigarettes? Oh, jeez. This is the fucking mother load. That's going to weigh us down and not allow us to get many materials out of here, though, which, are, which is a thing we need. But at the same time, that's going to do us a lot of good in the long run, and we can always trade those things for more materials. Um, well, let's grab all of this wood, because I might as well, because I can always just drop it further up, where it will be more accessible anyway. And I'm going to see what's out back here. Um, oh, geez, that looks like a person's body. That's... This guy didn't quite make it out, I guess. Um, oh, man. Well, we can search that body, though, and see if there's anything useful on it. Hopefully. And, oh, look. Now we have <laughs> no gun but three ammo, so I can throw bullets at people, at least, if they come at me. Ugh, shit. Well, let's see what's on this guy's body. Or maybe this is just a pile of junk. I hope it's just... A I'm just going to say this is a pile of junk because it looks like it a little bit now that I'm closer. Oh my god. No, this was this was a person. They were carrying books. Well, I'm going to take those now that I know they're worth something. I need a lot, of, a lot more parts. I need more weapon parts for sure. And can I leave anything here? Because it looks... Uh, I'm going to leave some wood. I feel bad because I came here for components. And fertilizer, maybe? We can use this fertilizer in the garden to grow herbs or vegetables. Or we can get coffee. Because that's very valuable. I don't really need more bandages, actually. So let's leave the bandages. Let's take the coffee. Because I'm going to come back here again, it looks like. Um, electric parts are always going to come in handy. 
And I'm going to leave a bit more wood here because I'm going to take some components on my way out instead of just taking a bunch of wood. And I think there's components... Oh, wow. I think there's components out front here, so just run on by. There's no one in here. They would have heard you prying open the door and digging the big pile of rubble in the back if there's anybody here, Marco. There's nothing to worry about for him. And I'm no I know for a fact there's components in this barrel. Um... Oh, wait, actually, I've taken a lot of them, it looks like. Um, are there more components somewhere else that I dropped off? Oh, shit. This place wasn't as loaded with components as I thought it was. Yup. Here they are. It's like, jeez. I knew. There had to be more. And can I leave anything else that I don't really need? Moonshine? It's a good trading item. Um... I want to keep these cigarettes for sure. I can always come back for coffee, but it's a valuable commodity. And... Ah, God, this is actually tough. I'm going to leave the coffee and take more components so I can build more tomorrow, because I think it's more important for me to get more well-equipped. And let's run to exit. Well... I think that's going to be enough for this for this episode, though. Uh, we'll come back when Marco's returned back to base on day four. Um, but until then, I've been John. This has been This War of Mine. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys next time.